हेलो माई सेल्फ सुनील कलशेट्टी असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स इंजीनियरिंग वालचंद इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस विद सिंगल फेज हाफ ब्रिज इन्वर्टर लर्निंग आउटकम एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन स्टूडेंट्स कैन एनालाइज सिंगल फेज हाफ ब्रिज इन्वर्टर्स इंट्रोडक्शन एन इन्वर्टर इज अ डिवाइस दैट चेंजेस और इन्वर्ट्स डायरेक्ट करंट डी सी इंटू अल्टरनेटिंग करंट ए सी आउटपुट मीन्स इट कन्वर्ट्स सिंपली डी सी टू ए सी इट डजंट क्रिएट और मेक इलेक्ट्रिसिटी जस्ट चेंजेस इट फ्रॉम वन फॉर्म टू अनदर फॉर्म द फंक्शन ऑफ इन्वर्टर इज टू चेंज डी सी इनपुट वोल्टेज टू अ सिमेट्रिक ए सी आउटपुट वोल्टेज ऑफ डिजायर्ड मैग्निट्यूड of desired frequency the function of inverter is to change dc input voltage to a symmetric ac output voltage of desired magnitude and desired frequency a variable ac output voltage can be obtained by varying the input dc voltage and maintaining the gain of inverter constant The output of ideal inverter should be sinusoidal, but the output of practical inverter is non-sinusoidal and it contains the harmonics. So the output of practical inverter is the square wave. For the low and medium power application, square wave or quasi square wave may be acceptable, and for high power application, low distorted sinusoidal waveforms are required. The output frequency of an inverter is determined by the rate at which power devices are switched on and off by the inverter control circuitry and consequently an adjustable frequency AC output is provided application of inverters used in UPS with batteries used in solar panels used in hvdc transmission used as a backup purpose variable speed ac motor drive induction heating aircraft power supply battery vehicle drives classification of inverter inverters are classified into two main categories voltage source inverter and current source inverter now voltage source inverter the voltage source has stiff dc source voltage that is the dc voltage has limited or zero impedance at the inverter input terminal current source inverter a current source inverter is supplied with a variable current from a dc source that has high impedance the resulting current waves are not influenced by the load single phase inverter there are two types of single phase inverter half bridge inverter and full bridge inverter so half bridge inverter it contains two switches and each of its capacitors has a voltage equal to vdc by 2 in addition the switches complement each other if one is switched on the other one goes off full bridge inverter the inverter converts dc to ac it achieves this by closing the switches in right sequence it has four operating states which are based on which switches are closed three phase inverter a three phase inverter converts constant dc into three phase ac output it has three arms normally delayed by an angle of 120 degree so as to generate three phase ac supply the inverter switches each has a ratio of 50% and switching occurs after every t by 6 of the time capital t and the 60 degree angle interval the switches s1 and s4 s2 and s5 and s3 and s6 
complement each other let us see single phase half bridge inverter it is the circuit diagram of single phase half bridge inverter it consists of two power devices q1 and q2 and the d1 and d2 are two feedback diodes and here load is purely resistive now this single phase half bridge inverter it is the combination of two chopper switches and three wire dc source power devices switches on and off alternately it need to isolate the gate signal for q1 and q2 each provides opposite polarity of vs by 2 across the load let us see how it works when the gate pulse is applied to the switch q1 at the same time block the gate pulse for the q2 therefore q1 conducts it actually short therefore the direction of current is source q1 load r c2 and again source and in this process c1 and c2 are charges up to vs by 2 and and assume that this direction of current is positive and the voltage across load is vs by 2 at the same time power device q2 is in non conducting set therefore the piv across q2 is is vs now when the gate pulses are applied to the q2 and block the gate pulses for the q1 therefore effect of this q2 conducts and it acts as a short therefore the direction of current is vs c1 o load a q2 back to vs now this time the direction of current is exactly opposite than previous one means assume that this direction of current is negative and the the voltage across load is minus vs by 2 means the negative half cycle appears across the load in this duration q2 is in conducting set the drop across q2 is 1 to 1.5 or ideally zero and the drop across q1 is vs now these are the waveforms for purely resistive load during the time period t0 by 2 positive half cycle appears across the load means the inverter provides the positive voltage and positive current and and during the duration t0 by 2 t0 power device q2 conducts effect of this negative half cycle appears across the load and the direction of current is exactly opposite than previous one expression for rms value of output voltage the the average value of the output voltage is given by e0 average is equal to 1 upon 2 pi 0 to 2 pi e0 omega t t omega t now as we know in the duration 0 to t0 by 2 or in the 0 to pi by 2 the positive half cycle appears across the load and in and pi by 2 to pi negative half cycle appears across the load therefore e0 rms is equal to under root 4 upon 2 pi the limits of integration 0 to pi by 2 e0 square omega t d omega t therefore the e0 rms is equal to edc by 2 the rms value of the square wave is equal to its peak input value therefore the rms value for the single phase half bridge inverter is same as a supply voltage edc by 2 now single phase half bridge inverter with rl load now here d1 and d2 acts as a feedback diodes now at t is equal to t1 gate pulse is applied to the t1 t1 conducts it acts as a short therefore the direction of current is source t1 load back to the source assume that positive half cycle appears across the load means the direction of current is positive and the direction of load voltage is positive okay now when the t1 turns off at t is equal to t2 
when the t1 turns off at t is equal to t2 this highly inductive load try to maintain the current in same direction therefore the inductor changes its polarity now this time the right terminal becomes negative and the left terminal becomes positive this inductive load forces the current in the same direction but the the polarity of output voltage is negative therefore the direction of load current is load edc by 2 d2 back to the source means in this duration the voltage is negative but the direction of current is positive okay now at t is equal to t3 gate pulse is available for the t2 t2 conducts it acts very short therefore the direction of current is source load t2 now this time the current flows through the lower half and assume that this direction of current is negative and the direction of load voltage is negative negative half cycle appears across the load now at t is equal to t4 t2 turns off but this highly inductive load try to maintain the current in same direction therefore this inductive load forces the current through the d1 edc by 2 load now this time the direction of current is same but the direction of load voltage is exactly opposite now, what is the PIV for half bridge inverter. Now, here when Q1 conducts, Q2 is in non conducting set, the drop across Q1 is 1 to 1.5 or ideally 0, but the drop across Q2 is Vs means for the single phase half bridge inverter the drop across non conducting device is the vs these are the references